walked in and knocked on the door uh, just to check that it was the right house. And um, a huge bear of a man called Bob um, answered the door and uh, was wondering what on earth I was doing on his doorstep on a Sunday afternoon. Um, and uh, so I explained that I was looking for that house with the Grand Parsons house and he immediately knew that, that, that this was it. So um, we have confirmation. He's just invited me in. It just felt really, <laughs> it just felt really odd. Um, but yeah, so I just did a little circle of this hallway through the kitchen, which apparently is exactly as it was in the 1950s, uh, or 40s I suppose it would have been, and uh, had a look at the pool, which was there when it was built. And um, that was it. But apparently the Apparently the, I don't know, Graham and, um, is it Little Avi? Avis is, is his sister, isn't it? Um, had carved their name somewhere on the drive, but um, I can't see it. So. Well, I'm going to have to have a look for it now. Go on then. Do you want to film you having a look for it? <laughs> no, I don't think you need to. If you find it. Yeah. I suspect the reason that Bob was looking so strangely at Chris today was the fact that Chris wasn't in church today. I think the one thing we've learned about people There was a sign saying uh, outside one of them that says, uh, uh, "Whatever you do, whatever you do on the, your six working days is judged by what you do on the seventh, which uh, gives you an idea of kind of town. What about the one that said, um, "What was it? Exposure to the sun may prevent burning." <laughs> sun, S O N, not S U N, obviously. Okay. I tried to think what Bob and his family think of these two English guys turning up on their doorstep on a Sunday afternoon and then just walking around the driveway looking for Graham's name carved into it. Give them something to talk about over dinner, I suppose. Very odd. Who's found it? Brilliant. Hold on. We told them this is something that Graham and Avis did themselves. Apparently, is it not? I think it might be. It's oh, really? strangely familiar about the handwriting, yeah. Really? Ingram Cecil Connor the third was here. Wow. Is that real? I'm not sure. If it is. And that's definitely how Graham used to sign his name because I've seen letters uh, that he sent back from um, from Harvard when he had his failed attempt at uh, higher education. Uh, so his, his writing does, alert, does look, look a lot like that. Uh, Um, well, there we are. We were talking yesterday uh, about the difference between being a fan and being fanatical, and I think we might have just crossed the line. <laughs> um, See, I, I, I don't think I count, because obviously I've gone through with this, but uh, here we are on the final day of our... Joe, you're here. You're here. <laughs> I know, but... You're standing. Well, actually, you didn't just walk through the front door, <laughs> but no. I, to I all intents and purposes, you are a grandpire. There's no getting away from it. I still don't get it. <laughs> I think that's what makes me different. Is the fact that when I go home, I'm never going to find myself kicking around the house saying, I might put a CD on it. A bit of Graham Parsons. I don't think that's going to happen. Do you know what? I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting a CD on for a few weeks now. I've had enough of Graham Parsons for, <laughs> yeah, for the I last we three weeks. Some... Well, let's go and shoot some pool then. Exactly. And uh, should we go and sit in the town square and sing a song? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's what we're supposed to do at this point. Isn't yeah. It? Okay. Um, but uh, happy birthday, Graham. <laughs>